I think I've always been a visual person. So I knew that I had talent, right, and I could draw or imitate, but I just thought it was something that everybody knew how to do. I got to uni and someone reached out to me and was like, I'm going to pay you for this, or you could actually go far with this. And then I was like, okay, then I should probably take this seriously. There is an ideology that black women should always look strong or if they are paintings or artworks of black women, they are always doing something for another person. Either they are carrying seven children and they are hawking or something. And I did not see myself in those women. I had to create a narrative for myself, how I want to see myself, how I want other black women to see themselves. And that was why I decided to start painting women. Dark-skinned black women, albino women, women who struggle with the way they see themselves because they look a certain way, because they have um, kinky hair, because they have full lips. It's important that those people see that this thing is beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> that was my way of like breaking free from, you know, the societal norms of having to be a certain way because I'm a woman. My art should show women that they can live how they like. The women in my paintings, they show a lot of confidence. The way they carry themselves, it shows strength. Painting women in that light, you know, confident, beautiful, embracing themselves and their freedom, it's teaching me to be safe. I danced for five years of my life. And I think that was like my most expressive self. Dance is, I can't even put it to words. Dance is such a beautiful, beautiful thing. thing. It's one thing to, you know, um, picture something and then paint it with your hands. It's another thing to express yourself with body movements, with flexibility, with your hair. It's. It's something that has always amused me right from when I was younger and up till now. I think it's so beautiful being able to just communicate with your body without saying anything, just with movements and poses. And that's why the artworks that are dance artworks for me are very personal. It has to have meaning. It has to represent a part of my life or a part of an experience for me. Art is also my escape. Me not being pressurized to create those things that I struggle with is my escape. Creating things that I want to be, creating people that look like who I want to be, that's my escape from the struggle. struggle. Living freely is its such an important part of my life and I think it should be an important part of everybody's life. <laughs> Living freely for me means that I do not have to live how people expect me to live. I always say it's as long as not harming people around you. So for me, living freely is living life how I want, without um, the fear of judgment, without expectations from, you know, other people. <laughs> I think it's important that as a woman, an African woman, it's important for you to be able to block out noise. People say women bond over trauma, unfortunately, because we all have the same lived experiences. So that's what I want to use my art to do, and that's what I'm also going to use my voice to do. 
My art is not really political in that sense, where like it speaks directly to those things. My art is subtle. subtle, subtle, subtle. It doesn't tell you you can be beautiful. It tells you look within yourself. What do you see? Embrace it. Your life is your own at the end of the day. Okay.